This LOS is describe the implications of combining a risk-free asset with a portfolio of risky assets. Describe the implications of combining a risk-free asset with a portfolio of risky assets. So first of all, recall that a risk-free asset will have zero standard deviation, so it plots on the axis. Remember, we've been looking at these charts where we have the expected return on the y-axis and standard deviation, and the risk-free asset is here. It has no standard deviation. It's going to equal zero. So when we write out the formula for portfolio standard deviation, we can see that if the second asset has zero variance or zero standard deviation, that'll go to zero. This will go to zero, as I've highlighted here in bold red. So we can see the, the formula for the portfolio standard deviation then just becomes the square root of weight one squared times the variance of one. Uh, so the, the standard deviation of the two asset portfolio with a risky asset is the weight of the risky asset in the portfolio multiplied by the standard deviation of the portfolio. The line connecting the two portfolios becomes a straight line. So here we have the portfolio, P, and there's the risk-free asset. As we combine the two, we're going to have a straight line. So again, we're just putting this into a graph now. Here's your return. Here's your risk. Here's your risk-free asset, which is going to map onto the y-axis. And here's different risky portfolios, portfolio A, portfolio B, portfolio C. So recall that a capital allocation line is a straight line from the risk-free asset to any portfolio. Just going to finish this LOS by opening up the Excel again. And we used this Excel file in a previous LOS, you may recall, where we're looking at the expected return of a stock 10% with a standard deviation of 20%, expected return of a bond 5%, and with a standard deviation of 8%, and we had the correlation of negative 0.25. So we could plot the bond here 100%, or 100% in the risky asset, the stock uh, up here. And as we combine the different weightings, we have a line that has become curve because the correlation was less than one. Recall if the correlation was one, we had a straight line. And if the correlation was negative one, we went back to the axis. But as we recall from that JP Morgan 10-year data, we had a proximate negative 0.25 correlation between uh, stocks and bonds, okay? But what I want to look at now is that a portfolio, because we're talking about combining a risk-free asset with a portfolio. So let's look at this portfolio of 50% in the stock and 50% in the bond. From that, we can see that the expected return is 7.5% and the standard deviation is 9.8. We're going to use that as, port, as that as our portfolio and we'll combine it with a risk-free asset. So if we just change this expected return now, um, so we'll change this, the stock to the uh, 7.5 expected return and we'll make this 9.8, but sorry, uh, 9.8 and we'll change the expected return on the risk-free to say 3%, but that has zero uh, standard deviation, and there's going to be zero correlation. So you can see it becomes a straight line uh, from the risk-free combining to the portfolio, which you could see here that has an expected return of 7.5% and a risk of 98 So again, sometimes putting it into Excel versus uh, working with the graphs you get a better feel for how the numbers are working. And that's the last for this LOS. Thank you.